my life alone You are the cause I saw you once and now you're burned into my mind And now I see you all the time And every time I think about the life That I would live without your love It makes me weak Cause on the darkest of days you light my way I'm always all about you It's just the way that you do it gets me Okay, he knows Should we sit down? Yeah, she said we could sit. Sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you want to sit, go ahead and way. sit. Right his way, his picture. The other day it felt so strange. coming together in marriage this day. 
A wedding is always a memorable occasion, yet for those who have worked so hard to get to this day and to make all of the preparations, it can slip by in an instant. And so I encourage all of you, especially the bride and groom and their families, to just sit back and enjoy every moment uh, so that they don't slip away from us. We read in the Gospel of Matthew, where two or three gather in my name, I am with them. And today we celebrate with Jake and Julie, but we also gather in the presence of God during the ceremony. And we are so glad that God has brought the two of you together. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you this day for bringing us together for this celebration of two lives coming together. Thank you for Julie and for Jake and for their love for one another. We thank you for this special day and pray that it is only the first of many days in which Julie and Jake know your love for them and their deep love for one another. Thank you for bringing each one of us here to be a part of their beginning of the life together that they will have. We worship you now and we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? She gives, she gives herself, herself with her family's blessings. blessings. It was important to Julie and Jake to involve their families in their coming together this day, and so they have selected a series of readings which their families will share. about love. To love is to share life together, to build special plans just for two, to work side by side and smile with pride as one by one dreams come true. To love is to have someone special on whom you can always depend, to be there through the years sharing laughter and tears as a partner, lover, and friend. To love is to make special memories of moments you love to recall, of all good things that sharing life brings, love is the greatest of all. This is a reading from 1 Corinthians. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends.
it's an honor for me and uh, also a huge blessing to have been asked to officiate this wedding, Jake and Julie's wedding. I had the chance to meet Jake just a few months ago, and uh, I was so glad that I did and get to know him a little bit better. And Julie, it means so much to me to be here as well, because we are not only cousins, uh, Julie is also my goddaughter. And in fact, Julie and Amy were flower girls in my own wedding. <laughs> I remember Julie holding you as a baby. And uh, I know I speak for all of us here that we are just so glad to see the two of you coming together today. Doug read a portion of a favorite reading Julie and Jake selected for today from 1 Corinthians 13. And the Apostle Paul spends a lot of time talking about what love is, and he also compares it to some other things. He says even if he were able to speak in the tongues of angels, if he didn't have love, he would just be a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. He says even if he had the gift of prophecy or he had all of the great knowledge of the world, but he didn't have love, he would be nothing. He even goes so far to tell us that if we had such faith that we could move mountains, but we didn't have love, we would have absolutely nothing. Love is greater than hope, and love is even greater than faith. In the last several months, uh, the three of us have met a few times online via Skype, and uh, now that the wedding day is here, we've just gotten used to getting Skype and, and uh, technology to all work properly and to come together. And in one of our conversations, I asked Jake and Julie uh, how they handle stress. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how they handle stress together as a couple and how they kind of cope with that. And there on the computer, they kind of looked at each other and smiled. <laughs> and they actually said they didn't feel they had been through a lot of stressful circumstances together yet, even after we've all heard the story of their first date together. <laughs> <laughs> You two know, and you can be sure that in your life together, there will be many times that will be harder. And those of us that know the two of you know, know you well, know that Jake's sense of humor and Julie's organization, <laughs> uh, as well as her very tender heart, will go a long way in alleviating the stress and the hardship of all of those times. Because it's in the more difficult times of life that we remember that love is more than just a feeling. The scripture that Doug read calls us to action. Love is patient and kind. It doesn't envy or boast. It's not arrogant or rude. It means, in fact, that we don't insist on our own way and we put others ahead of ourselves. It doesn't keep score. Instead, love never gives up. It trusts God always, and it always hopes for the best. In coming together today in marriage, the two of you are not only making a decision to spend the rest of your lives together, but you're also making a covenant, uh, a promise together. And it's one that God has already made to both of you to always love you no matter what. And so today, in front of all of these friends and family members, you promise to love each other in the same exact way that God already loves you. It's much more than a feeling, it's a promise to love each other, even when our circumstances are difficult and when life throws trials at us. In those times, you will learn to trust each other even more than you do now, and your love, because of that promise, will deepen as the years go by. Hard to understand now, but it's true. Your love will deepen as the years go by. In the beginning of the Bible, God says that it's not good for men or for women to be alone. In fact, in Genesis it says, God created a companion for you, Jake, and for you, Julie, a perfectly suited partner. In your life together and in your partnership together, remember that you are perfectly suited. Remember the promise that the two of you make today will be a foundation for both of you when times are tough. And remember that you are loved no matter what. Amen.
Now we have a question for you, Jake. Jake, do you take Julie to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, and cherish her through all of life's joys and sorrows, promising to be true to her alone as long as you both shall live? Always. And Julie, do you take Jake to be your husband? Will you love him, comfort him, and cherish him through all of life's joys and sorrows, promising to be true to him alone as long as you both shall live? Always. The two of them have written their, their own vows, and uh, having shared your intentions to love one another in a covenant relationship as a, as a promise, will now share your vows uh, in front of this gathering as well. And so, Jake, will you share your vow with Julie? Um, most people know that I'm a pretty outgoing guy, and they usually have the right words to say. But when I'm with you, all those words go away. Uh, luckily, I've had lots of people in my life to help me out, and I've always had the right words in mind. Um, first one, George McFly from Back to the Future uh, taught me that I'm your density. No, he taught me that I'm your destiny. <laughs> um, and I believe him. I truly believe that you and I were meant to be together forever. Yoda helped me too from Star Wars. He taught me do or do not. There is no try. And so I will not try to love you every day. I will not try to protect you every day. I will protect you and love you every day. Um, Wesley from The Princess Bride taught me the saying, as you wish. <laughs> and I promise that today I will use that phrase more and more and more. <laughs> and that I will be there for you in sickness, health, good times and bad times, just like he was for his princess. And last but not least, Dumbledore <laughs> from Harry Potter taught me that wherever your treasure is, there will your heart be also. And you are the best treasure that I could ever then no treasure will ever come close to the treasure I gained today by gaining you as my wife. And I love you so much and will forever. Always. <laughs> <laughs> and Julie, will you please share your vow with Jake? Jake, it's hard for me to put into words my feelings for you. Um, my heart has been so full since you entered my life when you crashed into that boulder. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way you tell me that you love me more than everything and anything, and how we argue about which one means more. <laughs> I love the way you go on errands with me, even though you know we'll end up at Michael's <laughs> buying glitter. <laughs> I love the way you hold me close, even when our Rosie tries to wiggle her way in between us. And I love that I could go on forever listing all the things that I love about you, and it still wouldn't be enough. I promise to spend forever with you so I can show you every day what you mean to me. I promise to be by your side through whatever life brings our way. I promise to make every day we spend together the new best day of our lives. Jake, I, love, I promise to love you forever and for always. Do the two of you have rings to give each other signs of your love for one another? We do. We hope so. <laughs> <laughs> your wedding rings, they reflect the sacredness of your coming together in marriage. Because the circle of the ring is unbroken, it reflects a love that will last forever, and they are made without a beginning and an end, just as God's love for you and for one another. And so may these rings be a symbol for you of your commitment to one another. Jake, as you place the ring on Julie's finger, and you repeat after me. Julie, this ring I give you. Julie, this ring I give you. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. And Julie, as you 
place this ring on Jake's finger. Repeat after me. Jake, this ring I give you. Jake, this ring I give you. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of our constant faith. Of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. By the power vested in me by God and by the state of Arizona, I declare that Julie and Jake are now husband and wife, whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Let us pray. Gracious God, bless Jake and Julie that they both may remember and fulfill the promises they've made to one another this important day. The Apostle Paul tells us that love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things, and love never fails. We thank you, Lord, for your steadfast love for us, and we pray that their love together may reflect the love you have for us in Jesus Christ. As their family and friends gather here, we pray you urge us to encourage them and comfort them, loving them and learning from them in their future together. God, strengthen and equip them and remind them during hard times of their promise and of its reflection of the love you have for us. Thank you for your commitment to us, your grace, and your comfort and care. Amen. Amen. Jake and Julie have uh, selected a special unity ceremony this day that they will share with you.
and through all the years may happiness be your companion, and your days together be good and long upon the earth. Treat yourselves and each other with respect, and remind yourselves often of what brought you together. Give the highest priority to the tenderness, gentleness, and kindness that your connection deserves. When frustrations and difficulties and fear assail your relationship, as they threaten all relationships at one time or another, remember to focus on what is right between you, not the part that seems wrong in this way. You can ride out all storms when clouds hide the face of the sun in your life. Remembering that even if you lose sight of it for a moment, the sun is still there. And if each of you takes responsibility for the quality of your life together, it will be marked by abundance and delight. Jake and Julie, you are two persons, but there is only one life before you. Jake, you may kiss your bride. Right. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Tucker. <laughs> we want to, the writing crew, want to thank you for celebrating with them today and look forward to visiting with each of you following the ceremony. Now may the grace of God our Father, the love of Jesus Christ, and the constant presence and love of the Holy Spirit be with all of us and those whom you love. Amen.